Okay, you know what? I was wrong. Specifically, I was wrong about macro lenses. I even went on record a few weeks ago in a video. I said it wasn't practical for most people to use an actual dedicated macro lens because they're too expensive. And then I discovered the TT Artisan 40 millimeter f2.8 macro lens. And now I have to eat my words. So in this video, besides eating my words, I'm gonna show you how the TT Artisan macro lens is better than using macro filters or macro tubes and is only slightly more expensive than those. I'll also tell you how this lens overcomes the other problem I have with macro lenses, you know, besides the cost, but, but I'll also tell you why you might not want to buy this lens. Now, some of the products I review have really small parts and I need to get in close and show some detail. Now, most regular lenses won't let you focus very closely. That's just the way they're built. But there are three ways that you can get really close to your subject. One way is with macro tubes. And these tubes take your existing lens and move it away from your sensor, which allows you to focus closer than you normally could. But I don't like macro tubes because they also reduce the amount of light getting to your lens. And with video, I don't have the luxury of using really slow shutter speeds like I do with photography. So I need all the light I can get. I've been using macro filters for close up work until just pretty recently. And, and a macro filter is just a diopter lens that you stick on the end of a normal lens, kind of like reading glasses for your camera. And the main reason I use these is that they're really cheap and they're also easy to use. If I bought a dedicated macro lens, it would probably cost me, you know, $500 or more. And I just can't justify that kind of money for something I don't use every day. At least that was my thinking. As I was making that video I mentioned a few weeks ago, I started doing some research on macro lenses and sure enough, they're all really expensive. Except for this one, it cost me less than $100. It was so ridiculously cheap compared to other macro lenses, I just bought it immediately. I didn't even bother checking reviews for the lens because well, if it sucked, I could just return it. The TT Artisan 40 millimeter lens comes in a variety of lens mount types for APS-C style cameras. And so I bought the Micro Four Thirds mount and yes, I paid for this myself. Nobody sent me any free stuff for this. And you know what? It works really well, at least for me, but there are some issues with the lens. Maybe issues is too strong a word. Okay, there's some things to keep in mind. The lens isn't for everyone because it does have some quirks and I'll get to those in a moment. So the lens is an f2.8 lens and it's funny, the diameter of the front element is pretty small. It doesn't look like it could possibly be an f2.8, but it is. And if you're used to full frame lenses, you'll see what I mean. Also, you'll notice the lens assembly is set way back inside the, the lens tube. I'm not quite sure why that is, but the good news is that you are not gonna need a lens hood for this. The tube acts as its own hood and it shades the lens. This 40 millimeter lens is really solid. It's kind of heavy even, like a, like a big old fistful of steel. And it definitely feels like quality. And the, the focus rings and the aperture rings, they all move really smoothly. And the focus ring is a long throw ring, which means that you could dial in your focus very precisely, but it also takes a while to go from minimum to maximum. Now this lens is a one-to-one -one macro lens, and that means you can focus so close Closely, that whatever is in front of your lens can be the same size on your sensor. So your tiny, tiny subject is going to be huge on your screen as a result. Now, for most people, a one-to-one -one macro ratio is close enough for all but the most demanding macro work. However, this kind of puzzled me at first. The minimum focusing distance is about seven inches or 17 centimeters. How can I get something that big on the sensor if I'm so far away from the thing I'm shooting? But keep in mind that this is a, a mild telephoto lens. 40 millimeter and micro four thirds is equivalent to an 80 millimeter full frame lens, which puts it like, you know, into portrait lens territory. So you're getting that extreme macro ability, but your lens isn't sitting right on top of your subject. And speaking of portraits, yes, you can use this as a portrait lens as well. F2.8 is, I mean, it's decent enough for portraits on a micro four third system. Although it's not gonna give you that extreme bokeh or shallow depth of field, but it'll work. Which brings me to another eye-opening moment I had. One reason I don't use macro tubes and haven't used a macro lens until now is that I don't want to continually swap out my lenses. Now with macro tubes, you can focus really closely, but then you can't focus normally. You have to actually remove the tube to focus your lens at, at normal distances. And some macro lenses only work close up as well, so you can't focus further away. And when I'm shooting B-roll for you know products that I'm reviewing, 
Sometimes I need to be close in, sometimes I need to be further away, you know, like a normal shot, and that would mean I'd need to swap lenses over and over, and that's bad. Each time I do, I run the risk of getting dust on my sensor. And yes, I can use the auto clean function in my camera, but that doesn't get rid of big chunks of dust, and I hate manually cleaning sensors. And that was the surprising thing for me. This lens focuses to infinity. That means you can use it as a regular lens as well, not just as a macro lens. You can also use it for portraits if you want, or any other type of filming or photography that works well with a telephoto lens. I can capture my entire subject from a distance, and I can also get an extreme close up, all with one lens. And for shooting product B roll, this means I never have to remove it. I can avoid triggering my dust anxiety and just get on with the shoot. So what's wrong with the lens? Why would you not want to buy this lens if you're shooting macro video or photography? Well, the first is that it's a manual lens. If you're not comfortable with manual focus and aperture, then well, that would be a problem. Having focus assist of some sort on your camera really helps though. And if this were an all purpose lens, I mean, manual focus might be a major hassle, but for macro stuff, you're probably not running around taking quick snapshots and relying on autofocus anyway. Macro work really requires some, you know, careful shooting and planning, and, and you'd probably use a tripod, so manual focus is probably not a big deal. So I wanted to get a sense of how sharp this lens is. So I took it out in the backyard. I brought my kit zoom lens, uh, which I also set to 40 millimeters, just so, you know, we're comparing apples to apples. Now, my kit lens doesn't open up to f2.8, so I set both lenses to f5.6. The center sharpness is about the same on both lenses at 5.6. Now, the TT Artisan lens does get slightly blurry at the edges compared to the kit lens, but it's pretty minor in my opinion. At f2.8, the macro lens gets a little softer overall, but this is pretty typical behavior when you are shooting with a, a lens and it's wide open. So considering the price, this is totally acceptable to me. Another issue some people might be concerned about is focus breathing, and the framing changes really significantly on this lens as you move from close up to infinity. Some people get really irritated over this sort of thing, especially for video. And I mean, it could be a problem if you're racking your focus back and forth in the scene, but this is not a cinema lens, it's a macro lens. I would never use this lens that way, so I mean, it certainly doesn't bother me. One other thing, I mentioned the lens felt substantial. It's actually heavy, like it'll knock over a desktop tripod kind of heavy. You might actually start to feel it in your shoulders if you carried this around as a shooting lens, but this is a special purpose lens, and I don't think that's as big a deal for a macro lens. However, it is still heavy. It's 371 grams to be exact, which is over three quarters of a pound. I mentioned I bought this as soon as I saw it without checking any reviews. So am I keeping this lens? Well, I don't have to swap out macro filters when shooting product B-roll anymore. I don't have to continually remove my lens in the middle of a shoot. And bonus, the image quality is noticeably better than using macro filters, especially at the edges. So while it's not a perfect lens, it really gets the job done for the price. This is now officially my second favorite manual focus lens for the Micro Four Thirds system. And you know what my favorite small format lens is? This one.